How's it going, everybody? Welcome to JV's 12 in the Morning Rants. I'm, of course, JV with the itchiest little thumb I can ever imagine. And I can't stop scratching it. That makes me feel alive. Um, it's funny, I was thinking about recording tonight, but... Um... Yeah, I was thinking about recording tonight, but I didn't know if I wanted to talk about certain things... And uh, certain topics or something, whether I don't even know, but I don't know. But whatever the case, um, I, I was kind of debating what to do, playing a little bit more Metroid Prime, um, getting mad at it only because I suck, so you know, it be how it be. But after I got done with that sesh, I was all done. Figured to get myself a little bit of a break. And I did a couple things. For one, I remembered that I have uh, a Game Boy player. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a little expansion thing for your GameCube. And despite the fact I had my GameCube, which is a little busted, and my cousin's GameCube, which is busted but in like a different way. <sighs> I remember that I bought a third GameCube specifically so I can play on the fucking thing. Not just look at it like a relic. And I was too lazy. I think I'm, I think my freaking GameCube is shot. And I thought about just buying one for parts. But I'm not. I found one for pretty cheap. And it was in working condition. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. And that way I can get all three colors of the cube. I now have... The platinum, um, the purple one, I forgot what they actually called it, and the black one. Which, if it wasn't for the little bundle plot, if it wasn't for the little bundle pack that I got my original GameCube in, I probably would have tried to look for a black one, because it looks slick. And, oh man, speaking of itchy shit, my foot itches like a mother. There's this one part in my foot, I swear I can itch forever. I feel like there's something in there. There's a little bastard just in the bottom of my foot. It just makes my foot itch forever. Oh! God. It's horrible. Anyways. So I decided to try out the little Game Boy player on this actual working GameCube. Because I've never actually played the Game Boy player. Like once. I have it, but I've never been able to use it. Because it's always on a GameCube that doesn't work. So I'm like, wait, let me try it on a GameCube that works. Maybe it's the Game Boy Player itself. But when you know it, I just needed a functioning GameCube. And I turned it on. I put on my deluxe version of Metroid 2 on there. And, ooh, it looked good. Well, about as good as it can look on composite cables. If I... Ugh. Don't ever look up how much it is for component cables for a GameCube. You will cry about how much they are sold for. <laughs> so, I thought that was cool. So, I randomly was looking on Facebook for something... Not really sure what. Looking past all the stupid posts I don't really care about. Maybe looking for some funny memes here and there. But I ran across Nintendo. And I ran across something. That um. Wait. Pause. Oh. 
one. Why is it paused? Oh, is it because I'm close? Oh, that's right. No. Stop it. There we go. There we go. So, I was on Facebook looking at random shit, and then I ran across some Nintendo's page, and I forgot that today is the 25th of October. If you don't know what that means, it's a pretty significant day, especially if you're a Nintendo Switch owner. 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 The owner. Owner. Because if you own a Nintendo Switch, you've probably already heard of this, and you've probably seen the price tag in order to be able to have this. But, if you're willing to spare a bit of extra change, which I got some kind of discount because I was like, alright, I gotta really, if I really want, if I want this enough, I really have to like bite my tongue and, you know, pay that $50 or whatever. But I did, I got a pretty big discount on it, I'm not gonna lie, so I didn't pay the full price for it, but shit, here I am. You know, now I got um, two new virtual consoles on my Switch. Which means now I absolutely don't have to open that Sega Genesis box that I have. Because I've been waiting about opening it for a while. But now I don't have to. Unless I just want the authentic experience. Then, you know, obviously I can do that. But now I have a Sega Genesis on here. Um, Some would argue the... Best Sega console out there. Um, I would probably, you know, lean more towards, um, lean towards the Dreamcast more, but that's just more my taste, if you ask me. And then the other is, um, the N64, which I'm kind of bummed on one hand, because I'm, I'm surprised that I tried to make, like, a N64 classic like they did for the NES and the SNES, because from what I've seen, they were... They sold pretty fucking good. But I think, especially since they threw them on here, they're like, this would be a great way, instead of selling that separately, it'd be a great way to get people to buy an N64, um, get a Nintendo Switch, pro- with promises of an N64 on the system. With a price. Ow. But... While the Nintendo 64 app was, you know, loading up, um, I looked at the Sega Genesis, and I need you guys to... I'm going to pull you closer to the TV real quick. I'm going to turn this up right now, because I need you all to hear this. If you all in my same range, you know, high 20s, maybe low 30s, if you're around that age group... Hold your pants. Ready for this shit? Listen to this shit. Oh my god. That's just too much. Oh! (laughs) Anyways. I remember I was like waiting for... Um... The N64 to load and then I'm like, I want to see what games we have on here. And then after that I'm like, oh! Oh! Okay, now I'm not going to lie, I didn't play super, I didn't play a lot of the Sega Genesis, I played more of the Super Nintendo back in my time, and even that was a little bit minimal. So I don't know, I don't know a lot of these games, there's like a Street of Rage 2, Streets of Rage 2, Sonic 2 of course, probably it's Sonic's best game ever. Depending on who you ask. Um, so we got uh, Castlevania Bloodlines. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. That's a silly name. Echo the Dolphin. I've never played these games before. Or this game before. Contra Hard, co- Hard Corpse. Hmm. It's rated M. Ooh, what a naughty game. 
Is this Rye Star? It's a Reed Star. Rye Star. I'm assuming it's Rye Star. But yeah, Golden Axe, um, Gunstar Hero. I don't know, like, really any of these games. I feel like I recognize the case more. I wonder if there's a. Here, let me grab a second controller. Because I want to see what games they have, like, if it varies. Um, okay. Oh. No. Okay, so... Nothing really different. It's just you can... Alright. Okay. Now... Let's see what we have for the N64. Now, something to keep in mind for... Not only the Genesis, but for the N64 as well. At least I believe for... I know for the N64... Oh. I like that sound. Play with everybody. Oh. Ooh, 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 yes. Let's try it. Let's see what they have. Let's go two player. Okay. What do we have for two player? Okay, I don't believe all these are two player. Mario Tennis. I don't know why, but looking at Mario Tennis's screen just makes... Or that little box art just... I'm super nostalgic for it, and I've never understood why. But, um... And then Mario Kart 64. Well, anyways, what I was trying to say... Is that, um... Because I'm not going to lie, the roster is very low. One of these games I've never... Heard of. What is this one? Sin and Punishment. Oh, never mind. I've heard of that before. I lied. I'm sorry. Okay, first of all, I gotta move these around. Dr. Mario 64, you get your nasty ass. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta. Hmm. I'm gonna tr sorry. I'm just doing a little something something here. We have, well, of course, we have the two main games that you have to have when you have an N64, and that's uh, Ocarina of Time, Le The Legend of Zelda, probably one of its most um, critically acclaimed games. Um, some people may say it doesn't really much stand the test of time. I don't know. I, I, I still really like it. I think... Here, I'm going to put this down here with this guy there. That looks weird. There's only... Let me see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only have nine games on here right now. So, we have... Like I was saying, we got the Quintessentials, Ocarina of Time, Mario 64. You have to have Super Mario 64. Not only because it's Mario, but... When the N64 came out, it came with the fucking game. Or, it, it, yeah, it came with the fucking console. Very much like Super Mario World with um, the Super Nintendo. Um, Star Fox 64, I like that decision. Oh, that's cool. It's got the little box art where it, like, introduces the rumble pack. Shit. Yoshi's Island, or Yoshi's Story. A Mario Kart 64. Classic. I already mentioned Mario Tennis. Dr. Mario 64. I never really played the Mario's or Dr. Mario games. Um, it just kind of looks like Tetris or something like that. I don't know. It, I mean, it seems Tetris esque. Oh, look it. Catch four player fever. <laughs> you fucking dog. Of course, I already said Sin and Punishment. And then went back. Ugh. I've never heard of this game. Why don't they... Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, probably not gonna see, like, fucking... I gotta see, like... Uh, we're not gonna see, like, any rare games in this. 
Except maybe like Donkey Kong 64 since that's a Nintendo property. But man, we're going to miss out on like um, Conquer. We're going to miss out on Banjo. We're going to miss out on Perfect Dark. Um, shoot, I know there's some I'm forgetting about. But man, there's a lot of N64 games we're going to miss out on because the whole Rare deal kind of fell through. But hey... Um, in due time, we could still get Majora's Mask, which still might be my favorite Zelda game. At the very least, my favorite 3D Zelda game. Even more so than Breath of the Wild, maybe. I don't know. There's, it's still up in the air. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, Mario 64. Mm, I have to play one of these games right now. Shit. Hmm. It's a toss-up between Mario and Zelda. That'd be cool to play. Uh, be cool to play um, either of these games on this Pro Controller because I love this fucking controller. But the the weird thing about Mario sixty four is if you got the Mario Stars All Star Pack, then you already have this. You already have Mario sixty four on that game, so. You, I technically have two copies on the Switch of this game. Ow! <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm dying. But I don't have um, Ocarina Time, so that's nice. Or Star Fox. Arguably their best game of the series, 64. And then, of course, Mario Kart 64. That everyone tried to say. Still, <clears throat> you got those diehard nostalgic people that are trying to still convince you that... Mario Kart 64 is still the best Mario Kart game out of the series. Now, I will say, my favorite Mario Kart, for the very same reason, because like I, I don't know if I've ever said this, I didn't grow up with N64, with the occasional me visiting a friend or they came over to my place and brought it over. That was my only real, um, um, that was my only real experience with the system and, pl like, PlayStation. Otherwise, I didn't have it. The I didn't get a console until, didn't get a console of my own until um, the GameCube, kind of like I was saying earlier, or I referred to earlier. And one, like, the first game I got with it was um, Mario Kart Double Dash. And that was my favorite Mario Kart game up until Mario Kart 8 came out. And objectively and subjectively, subjectively for me, best Mario Kart game. It is the best by a friggin' metric fuck ton mile. It is such a great Mario Kart game. It feels so good. You know what? I'm gonna go Zelda. You guys ready to take go down memory lane, lane with me for a moment? Alright, so... What am I at? Let's go. Let's try this. Confirm the game game screens. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Sorry. I have to redo this. We need to hear that fucking music. The N64 was telling me some weird shit. But we have to listen to this music. Alright? I'm just going to put the controller here. And press go. Suspend. Whatever, dude. Oh, I just look at... Oh, there's... Just hearing this intro like brings me to like a peaceful place. And like I know a lot of people look at like I know a lot of kids these days would see these graphics and think to themselves like it looks like shit and kinda. But man, that just takes me back. 
like hella hard. Let's come up with the f um. Let's see. Um, what do I lean? Uh, la 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 la. Um, hmm. let's see back. Up. Oh. Ooh. Let's see. Um, la 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 la. Uh, no, no. Uh, no. Oh my god, this is confusing. Oh, I'm screwing it all up. Oh god, it's a disaster. Let's see. Uh, what was I going? I was like, um... Lane... Lawn... D... W w w can I... Dwarf... Not dwarf. Um, back. Uh. Dur. Dwer. Uh. You know what? <laughs> uh, I can't fit it. You know what? I'm just gonna... Look, I'm gonna be basic as fuck and just call him Link. Because I'm not... I'm not... No, no, not, not Ling. That's a weird-ass name. I only have three hearts! Oh my god! I can't believe it. In the back. Oh, okay. Long has served as the guardian of the spirit. As I am known as the secretary. Ah. I see suspend. Uh, okay. Okay, go away. No, I need. I need this to go away. However, there is one boy who doesn't have a fairy. Hmm. He's freezing. That's what you have. That's what happens when you don't have doors and you just live in a fucking tree. Oh, some shit's happening. Some shit's happening. It's Zelda, and it's my blocky ass. Oh, what's happening? Oh, the plot is thickening. Oh my god! It's Londorf! Ah! What did he do to my tiny body? Navi! Navi! Where art thou? Come here! Th oh, it's everyone's favorite character in this. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words. The words of the Deku Tree. Does thou seek it? Does thou seek it? Does thou seek it? Do you think it? Oh. I can just. Okay, I just want to. Alright. This is what I kind of don't miss about old games. Just going through this old text. Isn't it? You need to hurry the fuck up with this. But before this treacherous evil power is up, whatever, it seems there is a time to time with a boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth of destroying the father of the that of the truth and justice and on Navi. Find our find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Yes, yeah, so keep talking. Keep just talking. So much shit. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest. Nay, the world depends on thee. Ooh, this is so cool. Uh. Man, I wish I can. Bleh. This is such a cool sequence. I wish I could. Go back to as a young kid and experience this scene for the first time. Because this is such a great, like... Look at... Navi's gonna try to fly through the fence. Oh! It's a pole, you dummy. <laughs> Idiot. 
Now you go into the tree and invade this boy's privacy. How could you? Do, do, do. Oh my god, this fucking music. Do, 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 No, shut up, Navi. I'm trying to listen to music. Wake up, like The great dead country wants to talk to you. Look at that, I suppose I'll get up. Ugh. Oh, he's all wiping his face. He's getting them boogies out of his eyes. Maybe I should have done um, N6, um, Mario 64 instead. That would have been a lot quicker to get to. I am Dobby the Fairy. The Great Dagger Tree asked me to be your partner f from now on. Nice to meet you. Hey, look. The boy without a fairy finally got a fairy. You can see on my skirt. That's weird. I'm a little boy. That's... I, um... See, look at... A pre-rendered background. Looks like... Absolute dark shit. Oh, look at you. have a little friend. Oh, God. Oh, jump! Get me down. Down. Speak to this young woman. Finally, you had a fairy to come to you, Link. Whoa, it's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true... T So before I do anything, I have to get my sword. I have to collect rupees as well. Let me talk to the boy. I'm going to press A to pick up rocks. Now I will do this cause only because... You know, difficult with that one rock. Here, I'm going to break all this shit in front of you. Yeah, I really probably should have like... As far as, like, a first impression goes, probably should have done, um... <clears throat> I should have probably done, like, Star Fox or something. Or, yeah, something where you could get right back in the... Right in the action. But, oh, I just wanted to play this game. I just wanted to go do the bushes to see what kind of rupees I could find. Is there gonna be any more in here? Okay, I need to uh, get a... Uh, Oh god, why do I have the hiccups? It's probably because I've been yelling a lot. How much? I think my shield that I have to get is like 10 rupees, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend that's the goal. Because it is the goal. It would be good to be spirit. Here. I already know where the sword is. I'm just gonna go for it right now. Right meow. I'm hopping the fence, you can't stop me. No. Go in the hole. Go in the hole, young boy. There you will find great treasure. I'll tell you what, I did not expect myself to be... Ooh, ooh, five rupees. Or a blue rupee, that's five. Oh, whatever. What am I picking up? Ow! I didn't think it came down this way. Hey, right, my boy's on. Jose, he's on the... He's on the... He's on the Switch as well. He must have... He must have seen that I was talking about this. Oh, no way I sent him a picture. Okay. Uh, it has practical purposes like killing. Um. With my weapons. Okay. I got my sword. 
I'm gonna kill people. I'm irresponsible with it. I'm a child. Oh, I gained back my heart that I lost. Time to go do the hoe. And now I have way more than enough to get my sh Oh man. I don't think, I almost wanna, almost just wanna do a fucking playthrough. Look, I have thought about doing playthroughs, just being a goof, doing all that stuff. But I don't quite have the equipment for it yet. So, if you guys really want me to, like, try to do, like, a gameplay channel or something, I'm, I'm all for it, but just let me know. Let me know if you want to see me get down on some of these freaking games. Especially since, just game consoles in these days, it's so easy to just play games for pretty much any generation. Because, you know, the virtual consoles are just ridiculous. You can pretty much get in. You can pretty much get any and every game at this point. Oh! Hey Link! Look up here! Oh yeah, this is when they use... This is when they teach me how to use the Z-Target. Alright. Let me see, I'm gonna get my shield. I'm probably gonna... Probably gonna end this episode pretty quick. I just wanted to, you know... There's my shield. Can we get a... Can we get someone that can actually look... Magic. 40 rupees? What was I thinking? It was 10. Deku seeds. Stick. One of the go... God damn it. Alright. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I cannot end this podcast until I have my shield. I know it wasn't an established rule until I started, but it is a rule now. So listen, you're just gonna have to deal with it. And if you don't like it, well then... I suppose you can just turn off the podcast if you really wanted to. But please don't. But I did hear that, you know... I mean, I'm not sure if they're gonna do... I'm sure they're going to with, uh... Genesis as well, but I did hear they're gonna, you know, they're gonna bring more games onto this. On this and then, the, and the N64, so it will be fun to, you know. Oh, oh, five. I see five right here. Let's see, I'm gonna do a little exploring, hopefully I can... I haven't played this game in a while, so I used to have, like, a method of, like, getting a bunch of rupees, or is it always just kind of a slug? I don't remember. Bit too long. Oh, I broke the sign! Damn it. I was really trying not to, but then I did it. All right, I'm about ten away. But I feel like I used to have a method, like, there's, like, spots where you can get, like, particular rupees. Ugh! Go over the tree! I really wanted your name to be Londorf Link. I tried for it. Oh, there's one. I see. This is, I think this is kind of cool. But early game, it doesn't really give you much um, of a mission except find a sword and um, you know earn enough money to get a shield. So I think that's cool. Fuck. I always do that shit too. Am I the only one, especially when you first start playing a Zelda game after a while, when you, like, cross a bridge in a 3D game? Like, I, the first time I always go on it, I always have to walk off. Oh! Oh, I know one of the ways to get a rupee. I'll do, I'll do that after I get this one over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! <laughs> Okay, times like that, I wish I did have a freaking, um, I was recording this. Because that was funny. Because I was talking to the girl that was up on that ledge, and then, like, right when I pressed, right when I pressed the A button to talk to her, it's, <laughs> links just, like, slips off. And then, just, it just looks like she's talking to nobody. 
But if, if I'm not mistaken, I pressed the wrong button. But if I'm not mistaken, if I cross, there we go. Not quite there when it comes to. I swore. Maybe there's a rupee hiding behind Meow. Nah, I guess that's too easy of a spot, I guess. Well then. Well, whatever then. I don't care. Oh, wait. Have I checked behind here yet? Hello? Dad? This last five is gonna be kind of a bitch to find. I don't know. I really like the beginning of this game. It's just really peaceful and quiet. I'm slugging around. Um, I do have one question while I'm doing this. Um, out of all the games that you've heard that are on the virtual console, uh, what games are you looking forward to seeing on the virtual console? And um, what games do you think that you wish could be on the virtual... Or which games that most likely aren't going to be on the virtual console do you wish that would be on the virtual console? Because obviously some big ones would be like GoldenEye, um, the Banjo-Kazooie games, Conquer. Ooh. Can I pick these up? Aw, I threw it outside. But yeah, the Conquer game. Um, ooh, I hope we get um, um, Diddy Kong, uh, Diddy Kong Racing on here. I mean, I'm, that's like, that's a super underrated, oh, there we go, we got 40. That'll be a super underrated, um, I'm um, kart racer. I mean, I feel like the people that play it love it, but you know, not a lot of people actually like play it. So not enough people love it. So if you've never played Diddy Kong Racing, I oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. If it does come to the virtual console, please treat yourself by playing it. It's really fun. Wait a minute, none of the Mario Party games are on here. That's something that's definitely gonna have to change in due time. Yeah, you know, press R. Crouch. You took all my money! And then... And then I have to go to the menu again. Save. Here. Um, no, I'll go back to it. Ooh, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun with this. Um, and I'm gonna continue to have fun with this. Um. Yeah, I think that's about all I have for this. Um, is there any, like, um. Is there any, like, comments that you guys have? Like, you know. Do you think that, you know, Nintendo is kind of price gouging people? Especially at a time like this where not a lot of people are working. Um. And, like I said, it has a very small library of games at this moment. Obviously, games for me that I would like to see come on here is like, um, um, Majora's Mask, obviously, um, Donkey Kong 64, gotta have it. Um, I already said Diddy Kong Racing, obviously any of the Mario Party. Oh, you gotta get fucking Smash Brothers on here. How do you got, I mean... Nintendo did say from the get-go they're going to put games, you know, as time goes on. So, I guess it's not that big of a deal. But still, it's like, oh, how do you not open? There's still some big heavy hitters. But then they put, like, friggin' Sin and Punishment on here? It's like, the fuck? And that other game I never even heard about? But whatever. It's still at its, in it's, still at its infancy. It just got here. And then, you know, 
probably a lot more games for the Sega Genesis as well will be coming out on here. That's what I've been really liking about the the virtual console versions of the SNES and the NES Classic. You know, just one day you'll go and visit them, and next thing you know, there's like three, four more games on there that you didn't know were going to come, but they're just there now. Ugh. Anyways, um, yeah, does this excite you? Um, or, I guess I'm going to wait for this guy to drive by real quick because he's a loud ass. Are you guys excited about the new um, N64 Classic slash um, Sega Genesis Classic being on the Switch now? Um, what games are you looking forward to for both? I know I keep on saying that, but I'm still trying to close this out. Um, just let me know. Um, or are you holding out and hopefully that Nintendo's gonna lower the price a little bit on that? Because I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit pricey. And I know I still bought it. That being at a pretty significantly lower price than the original price they were asking for. Maybe that's a sign that Nintendo's like, okay, you know, we'll take it easy. <clears throat> Maybe it's a sign. I don't know. But whatever it is you guys have on your mind, let me know. And, um, oh yeah. Um, let me know if you guys want me to try to get a, like, a gameplay channel going. I would love to, you know, try to get one started on, like, my YouTube channel. I don't really do much on there right now except, like, upload these on there. And then, um, I don't know. If that's a cool idea you think guys would like then you know I would like to I would like to do that I would like to first of all I would like to get better with it I'm not the most patient when it comes to technology so I will definitely try it's best if you guys want me to let me know but um other than that I think that's all I got for today thanks everybody for joining me on this episode of JB's 12 in the morning rants I know it's kind of been a little all over the place it's just been mainly me playing Zelda, but, you know, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it can make your day better. I hope to see you next time, but until then, y'all stay safe. And, of course, as always, join the rant. Peace.